name is Anders, and today I'm in Hastings, a wonderful place, a beautiful city. In this video, I'll show you what you can do while you're here. But first, let me show you the Hastings campus. Formerly known as Hastings College, this campus is now part of the East Sussex College Group, along with Lewis, New Haven, and of course Eastbourne. This college campus has a great modern look with new and fancy buildings. This campus also has easy access to Hastings train station and the town centre. Awarded Peer of the Year 2017, the Hastings Pier has a great view of the beachfront. It has through the years been a popular place for events and musical performances, and is still a nice place to come and relax. Sherwood Gallery offers a uniquely British experience and comes with a unique design that makes it pop out from its surroundings. The gallery is home to modern and contemporary art and are currently exhibiting art from Henry Kokatsis and Ivan Jones. The Blue Reef Aquarium in Hastings is a wonderful place for visitors to come and see the creatures of the ocean. With an underwater walkway and a lot of bright and beautiful colors, this is a must-see in Hastings. After the victory at the Battle of Hastings, William the Conqueror built the stone castle on top of the hill in the town center. I would have shown you more, but apparently the castle is closed. Formed around 14,000 BC, the St. Clement's Caves have had a great role in the history of Hastings. The caves have provided for many fascinating and often bloody stories of smuggling and piracy along the Sussex coast. Today, the caves are filled with chilling ghost stories and are an attraction for thrill seekers and the superstitious. The amazing and stunningly beautiful Alexandra Park lays in the center of Hastings. The park offers something for everyone and is famed for its best collection of trees and wildlife in Britain. There are still signs of the old town in Hastings that dates all the way back to Victorian times. With its ancient churches and buildings, unique fishing quarters, narrow streets and atmospheric pubs, eating places, tea rooms, museums and antique shops, there's something truly untouched and timeless about Hastings' old town. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This might be my last one before I go home to Denmark. Um, if you come to South England, Eastbourne, Hastings, make sure to see the attractions I've showed you and make sure to have your own experience.